This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Tube Buddy, YouTube certified. Stop wasting time. Tube Buddy is a free browser extension that integrates directly into YouTube to help you run your channel with ease. Trusted by more than 1 million plus amazing YouTubers. Type in your browser https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot tube buddy dot com forward slash v g o Welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Big Geek. Church is in session, folks. Time for Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. Case number seven, The Cardinal Sins. We left our hero, uh, who is who has arrived in Rome to investigate a suspicious murder and uh, some, a priest who is accused of the murder. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue our adventure in Rome Hotel. So we're in the hotel in, the, uh, in, in Rome, Italy. Let's look at the painting here. There is a painting on the wall depicting a scene from Dante's Inferno, apparently keeping consistent with the hotel's theme. You have no desire to own the painting. Pug? It's in the rug. It's a small rug on which is an illustration showing the nine circles of hell. Charming stuff, really. There's nothing under the rug except dust. A decorative fruit bowl sits on the desk. The fruit is all made of plastic. Looks like you'll have to get a snack somewhere else. Let's look at the laptop. It's Simon's laptop. It come, came in handy when you were in Osaka. Hopefully, it will do the same here. It's Simon Booth, your good friend and paranormal investigator investigating partner. Let's talk to him. Did you ever patent that door sucker thing of yours? Yeah, but in the end I decided to give up on it. Not enough demand for that sort of thing, apparently. Okay. Got a, Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. I see you laptop. brought your laptop with you. Yeah, I figured it could come in handy again. You never know what sort of information we'll need in a case like this. Research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? Alenzro, uh, Al Alessandro Renzi. See if you can find any information on Alessandro Renzi. Right, give me a second. Helpful. Or nope, I don't get any results searching for his name. Weird. That's strange. I wonder why he isn't at least in the news. Maybe the story hasn't got tonight yet. Maybe. I don't need to research anything else. Okay. Uh, research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? I don't need to research anything else. Alright, let's look at Rome. Have you ever been to Rome before? Yeah, I came on a family trip once when I was very young. Don't remember much about it, I'm afraid. Well, why don't you go out and see the sights? It seems like a waste to be sitting around in hotel rooms every place we go. I'll go out and see the sights in time. Right now, I'm more concerned about helping you with this case. Treat yourself. Um, holidays. So, how were your holidays? Oh, the usual. Going home to visit the family, arguments, crying, berating me for not doing something useful with my life, that sort of thing. I hear you on that one. Your car was very welcome. I think I would have gone mad if I had stayed home much longer. I'm glad to be spending my holidays here. It's a welcome change from the usual. Quite. Nothing says Christmas like investigating a murder. Well, when you put it that way. Alice. I wish Alice was here. 
I bet you do. You don't think she was lying when she said she couldn't come, do you? Why on earth would she lie? You know she loves this stuff as much as we do. It's the holidays. Not everyone can just pick up and go like us. And anyway, she never said she wasn't coming. She said she didn't know when she would be able to get here. There's a difference. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. You're just having new relationship anxiety. Once she shows up, you'll forget all about it and be back to your lovey-dovey old self. Lovey-dovey? I'm not lovey-dovey. Lovey you keep telling yourself that, mate. Oh, that's, that's all. all. Right. It's the best thing in the bed. It's a small and uncom uncomfortable-looking bed. But at least you get, you get your own this time. You're not in the mood to go to bed just yet. Anything else to investigate here? Well, it's, the food is all made of plastic. Looks like I'll have to get a snack somewhere else. Uh, save our progress. Hotel. Any other thing else in our in our possession? Let's look at our, our inventory, our notebook. It's your notepad. It might be <clears throat> it may be time to get a new one. <coughs> Extension of your arm. Okay. Let's look at the notepad. Nothing else. Nothing else, fam. Okay, let's go investigate. I'm gonna go look into some stuff. Have fun. Here we go. All right, where are we here? Police station. Le Abrego Dante. Where should we go first? Let's go right to the Albrego down, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Jordan has entered the building. And just as I was starting to enjoy being alone, too. Yeah, the Albrego down there is the hotel. I Bye, Simon. I'll be back soon. That. Bye. Alright, the Albrego down there is the hotel, but we're not at the Vatican yet. Let's go to the police station to uh, ask questions to the police officer. It's a large window which is currently tucked shut tightly. A large set of double doors leads to the police station. The sign is in Italian, however you guess it says something along the lines of authorized personnel only. The desk sergeant seems to be focusing on the game on television rather than his paperwork. There's a stack of, of papers on the desk. They seem to be largely ignored. It's small televisions on the desk. It seems to be taking up most of the desk surgeon's attention. It's as he talked to him. He doesn't seem to be in the mood for idle conversation. He's really into the game on television. Ask him some questions. <coughs> si, benvenuto nella stazione di polizia. Come posso aiutarla? Uh, sorry, I don't speak Italian. I said, welcome to the police station. How can I help? You? Welcome. Uh, let's talk about Ale Alessandro here to see Renzi. Alessandro Renzi. May I ask who you are and what your business is? My name is Ben Jordan. Business. Renzi called me personally. Ah, yes. Hmm. We have been expecting you. If we I have may been ask, expecting you. why is it that Renzi called you? I honestly have no idea. I've never even met him before. This whole situation is very strange. But yeah. the law requires us to comply with Renzi's request to see you. You may go hmm. through those doors over there. Renzi's cell is the last one down the hall. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's talk about Can the I murder. Can I ask about the murder that Renzi committed? Ah, yes. Hmm. A very serious crime. I am not a religious man myself, but murdering a priest can bring nothing good. Renzi claims to have been in some sort of trance when he didn't. But you don't believe him. Murder is murder, signore. Regardless of the condition one is in when he does it. Crime scene. Could you tell me exactly where Renzi killed the priest? What do you need to know that for? I thought I'd take a look around the crime scene and see if I found any clues. I am afraid this is impossible, signore. I cannot tell a member of the public about official police business. Besides, the crime scene has already been investigated thoroughly by our own inspectors. Well, looks like I'll have to find it on my own. What was that? Hmm? 
Oh, nothing. I was just uh, clearing my throat. <coughs> tell you tell me about yourself. You do anything besides sit behind this desk? All you need to know about me is that I am here to assist you with any police-related matters. Aside from that, my private life will remain just that. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll respect that. The game? The game. Yes, it is a very good game. A of bit. course, this is just a tape from the song. Reliving past glories? No, I just prefer to watch a happy game. The news has nothing but death and sadness. I have to deal with that enough as a policeman. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. He's keeping pauses while watching the game on television. Okay. Save our progress as police station. Let's uh, go open the doors. Talk to Renzi. Oh, a signore. Just a moment. Oh yes. What is it? What is it? Just a small precaution. Do not get too close to the other cells. Some of the occupants are a little too friendly, if you get my meaning. Right. Thanks for the warning. Good to know. Look at these cells here. You wonder what sort of terrible crime this guy must have committed to wind up in his cell. Talk to him? This is the prisoner you're here to talk to. Let's save our progress as prison cells. Prison cell. Let's see if we go up here. I told you not to get too close to the other prisoners. You better not take your chances. Who's this prisoner? An odd looking prisoner sitting sadly in the cell. Alessandro, Alessandro Renzi accused of murdering a priest in cold blood, San Solomon, in his cell. There he is. Let's talk to him. I really don't think Renzi would be in much of a mood for small talk. Ask him a question. Hello, Mr. Renzi? Yes, hello. Are you Ben Jordan? Oh. Yeah, you wanted to see me? I thank the Virgin you yes. have come. This place has a way of making a man lose hope. Well, now that I'm here, why don't you tell me what's going on? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Uh, why I'm did you curious. call me? How is it that you contacted me specifically? <laughs> ah, yes. That is an interesting story. The night before I was brought here, I received a telephone call. The man on the other line refused to identify himself, but kept saying, Call Ben Jordan, he can help you. Then he gave me your phone number. I thought it was some kind of joke, but I was so desperate I called anyway. You could imagine my surprise when I found out he was telling the truth. Okay, okay. Uh. Tell me about voice. the voice on the phone. What about it? Well, was there anything special about it? Hmm. Did the caller have any odd speech patterns or accent or anything that could identify him? Now that you mention it, he did have an accent. English, I believe. English. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. All right, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Renzi. What do you want to know? Well, what do you do for a living? I am an actor. In fact, I was rehearsing for a play before... Before the murder? Yes, before the murder. Okay. Acting, you say? Tell me more about your job as an actor. I perform on stage, mostly at the Teatro Manzoni. Do you get many people at your shows? Yes, we do quite well for ourselves. Okay, that's something. Let's get right to it. What exactly happened on Christmas Eve? Do you promise to keep this between you and I? Of course. I told the police I don't remember killing that priest, but the truth is I do remember. I remember almost everything. I was on my way home when it happened. I ran into the priest in an alley that I used as a shortcut. I stabbed him to death. The thing is, I did not do it. Something else was in control of my body. Something else? Yes. Something else. I think it was a demon. Dun, dun, dun. Demon, you say? So you say you were being controlled by a demon when you murdered the priest? Yes, I remember walking home and suddenly not feeling normal at all. There was a flash of light and I felt an energy flow through my body. It was unlike anything I had ever felt before. As though pure evil was flowing through my veins instead of blood. 
After that, it was like I was watching from outside my body. I saw myself approach the priest and stab him to death. It was horrible. I must have fainted then, because when I came to my senses, the police were arresting me. They said I was speaking in some strange language when they found me, but that is the only thing I don't remember. So, where did this demon come from, and why did it possess you? I wish I knew the answers to those questions myself. But since you are on the good side of these bars, I'm afraid you must be the one to find them. What do you know about the priest you killed? The police told me his name was Thomas Ryan, but aside from that, I know absolutely nothing. I had never met him before. I didn't even know there was a church in that area. Mr. Jordan, you must understand I did not intend to kill this man. I have a hard enough time killing insects in my apartment. But now, not only have I murdered a man, I have murdered a servant of God. Do you realize what this means? I'm going to burn in hell for all eternity. Calm down, Mr. Renzi. I'm sorry, this whole thing has been very difficult for me. Can you tell me exactly where the murder took place? Yes, of course. It was in an alley, near the Piazza Mignagnelli. And where is that? How familiar are you with this city? Not familiar at all. Then I wouldn't be able to tell you without a map. That's okay, just having a name is good enough. Thanks for your time, Mr. Renzi. I promise I'll do my best to help you. Thank you, Signore. Anything else? Hello again, Mr. Renzi. I've got some more questions to ask. Yes, of course. I will tell you everything you need to know. Thanks for your time, Mr. Renzi. I promise I'll do my best to help you. Thank you, Signore. Save our progress in cell. Let's head back to the hotel. If we can talk to Simon for some help. Hello again. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Uh, demons. Do you know anything about demons? Demons? No, signore. I do not. Why do you want to know about demons? Oh, no reason. Just forget I asked. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Alright, we made some progress here. The station. Go back to the hotel. Hey Simon, I'm back. I just as I was starting to enjoy being alone too. See my progress as hotel. Let's talk to him. <coughs> what do you think ever happened to Madame Tilly Rosenquist? What? That crazy old woman from number 50? I imagine she's still putting her fingers to her temples and making crazy predictions in London. Assuming she's still alive, of course. That's a terrible thing to say. Come on, Ben. She was about 100 years old. No, she wasn't. It was more like 98. Alright, let's ask him some important questions. Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Do you uh, think research. you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? Let's look up... Um... Thomas Can you Ryan. look up a priest named Thomas Ryan? Thomas Ryan? Yeah, it's the name of the guy Renzi murdered. Not very Italian sounding, is it? No, I thought that too. Alright, well let's see what I can find. Okay. Well, how about that? Seems he was a priest at a church in the area. Some place called San Silvestro in Capite. Yeah, I'll give you the address. Thanks, Simon. Thanks. Alright, let's look up uh, Teatro Manzoni. Could you find out where the Teatro Manzoni is located? Sure, it shouldn't be too hard. Here we are. It's not far from our hotel. Here's the address. Thanks. Okay, let's look up the crime scene. I'd really scene. like to check out Renzi's crime scene. Any idea where it is? Renzi said it was near some place called the Piazza Mianelli. Right, let me just pull up a map. Ah, here it is. I'll give you the address. What would I do without you? Probably stumble around blindly. I don't need to research anything else. That's good. Uh, so, it demons. seems the plot thickens. How do you mean? As usual, we're not just dealing with a regular old murder. Renzi told me he thinks he was possessed by a demon when he killed the priest. A demon? That's some serious business. Do you know anything about them? 
nothing outside the movies, but I could always look them up for you if you want. No, I'll just consult the Paranormal Investigator's Handbook. Uh, that's all. That's all for now. Right. Let's save our progress. No motel. And we'll take a little break. Anyways, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan Case Number 7, The Cardinal Sins. Hope you enjoyed our little adventure, a little mystery uh, that we're starting to unfold. We've investigated the police station and talked to the, the prison cell. We talked to Renzi, the man accused of murdering a priest. Turns out he was possessed by a demon, supposedly. So we'll, further, we'll investigate further in another episode. I would appreciate if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below. Share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google Plus. All those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Play Playtheater. Check out our little links below. I'm your host, The Big Geek. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.